do you believe that the Canadian government is abandoning the Chinese diaspora? Uh, I would say abandoning is a st very strong word. Um, I would say ignore is it, a better word to describe the kind of thing. Um, for many years, we've been shouting the same messages. Uh, even in, back in 2006, when I presented to this committee, uh, we, 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 we basically said China controls everything. They know everything. Uh, if, even if you change your cell phone, they can quickly find you. Uh, from Beijing, from Toronto. So it is, uh, it is something that I, I believe that the government should take a stronger message and also take a stronger stance. And said, wow, China can China control. Everything. Even over there, they can just watch your cell phone when you switch phone numbers and watch you. Maybe this has a bit to do with the TikTok app and what uh, what was going on there. This could be all related on there, but at least this guy is being very honest that they... They have a own everything and they can control. Let's, uh, let's continue. And I agree with many of the uh, critics about the registry saying that it may not be 100% effective. Certainly, we understand that. But we think that as long as we're not ignored, as long as we are, as long as the government has been seen as actively trying to protect the integrity of its election as well as its community, then it would send a strong message back to hostile countries, forces like China, Russia, or Iran, saying that we are, help, we are watching over our citizens as well. So don't ever try to you know, exert pressure or harass or intimidate mm -hmm. uh, any of our Canadians. Don't when the leader of our country admires the basic it dictatorship, it's really hard to be to tough on anything. You know, they, they see this as an advantage to have someone that admires them that much. You know, how they can turn things on a dime, but this is like the perfect opportunity to have him exactly where he is in Canada. Let's, uh, let's have this continue. Canada will protect citizens is not being sent to the Chinese government. Right. I, I strongly believe that. I think more external, more explicit kind of... Uh, 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 a public display uh, is is worth it. Uh, right now, um, as you know, we are uh, un under the COVID, and and as well, uh, people are, are looking at the anti -race, uh, uh, racism of Chinese Canadians, and this line of uh, setting up a registry is an attack on the Chinese Canadian community. I will not buy. This is a standard line given by the Chinese Communist Party. They're using the same line for everything, for COVID, for anything else. So I, I hope that the government will not buy into the fact that uh, just because you're setting up a foreign agent registry, you're setting up a registry for all Chinese Canadians. That stinks. So that means everything that the liberals have been saying are just uh, tactics right out of the Chinese Communist playbook. That is nothing new. You know, this sort of uh, aligns with what a lot of people say, too, that Trudeau is aligning exactly with the Communist Party and, and what that represents. It's nothing new. He's just taking stuff right out of the playbook, as is if someone's telling him to do this or just naturally it happened. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. Canada-wide. Canada-wide. A leader takes responsibility when things go wrong. And this Prime Minister has consistently avoided taking any responsibility for this uh, sordid mess.